Hey, welcome back. Advanced Threat Analytics or ATA is an on-premises platform that helps protect your enterprise from multiple types of advanced targeted cyber attacks and insider threats. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this Microsoft 365 certified Security Administrator Associate course. After this lesson, you would be able to describe what Advanced Threat Analytics ATA is and what requirements are needed to deploy it, and how to configure advanced threat analytics, and how to manage ATA services. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what does ATA do? ATA technology detects multiple types of suspicious activity focusing on several phases of the cyber attack kill chain, including reconnaissance, lateral movement cycle, and domain dominance. So what is reconnaissance? In reconnaissance, attackers gather information on how the environment is built and what the different assets are and which entities exist. They generally build their plan for the next phases of the attack. Another attack which AT can detect is lateral movement cycle. Lateral movement cycle is where an attacker invests time and effort in spreading their attack surface inside your network. And the third one is domain dominance or persistence. This is where an attacker captures the information allowing them to resume their campaign using various sets of entry points, credentials and techniques. These phases of cyber attacks are similar and predictable. No matter what type of company is under attack or what type of information is being targeted, ATS searches for three main types of attacks. Malicious attacks, abnormal behavior and security issues and risk. Now let's understand the malicious attacks. So what are the list of known attack types? First, let's understand pass the ticket or PTT. Pass the ticket is a credential theft and reuse attack that resembles pass the hash attack in its execution steps. However, it involves the theft and reuse the ticket granting ticket and ticket granting service acquired by using Kerberos protocol rather than the NT hash value and NTLM protocol. The next one is pass the hash or PTH. Pass the hash attack uses a technique in which an attacker captures account logon credentials on one computer and then uses those captured credentials to authenticate from other computers in the network to access resources. Third type of attack is overpass the hash. Using a technique called overpass the hash, an attacker can take the NTLM hash and use it to obtain a ticket granting ticket through Kerberos Active Directory. The fourth type is reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is the scanning of network to discover valid information that can be used to map out the environment to assist the hacker in their attack. Another one is brute force. Brute force is an attack where attackers attempt to guess a user's password by authenticating with multiple password in a short period of time. Another one is remote execution. An attacker runs arbitrary code on captured destination machine. Then we have forged pack, golden ticket and malicious replications as well. Now let's understand the abnormal behavior. Abnormal behavior is detected by ATA using behavioral analytics and leveraging machine learning to uncover questionable activities and abnormal behavior in users and devices in your network. This will include anonymous logins, unknown threats, password sharing, lateral movement, and modification of sensitive groups. You can view suspicious activity of this type in the ATA dashboard. Next is security issues and risk. ATA detects security issues and risk including broken trust, which is an example of trust relationship broken between workstation and domain controllers. Then it can detect weak protocol and ciphers, which include SSL, SSL version 3, SHA and so on. And it can detect non-protocol vulnerabilities as well, which include DNS poisoning, DOS attack and so on. Now let's talk about ATA architecture. Advanced Threat Analytics consists of three major components. 
ATA center, ATA gateway, and ATA lightweight gateway. So what is ATA center? ATA center is the management center to observe and evaluate suspicious activity recorded by the ATA gateways. And what is ATA gateway? ATA gateway is a standalone server which no services other than ATA running. This collects and investigates network traffic from mirrored ports and hard for an attacker to detect because it runs standalone. And the last component is ATA lightweight gateway. This is an additional service for domain controllers that can inspect the event logs for abnormal behavior. This is more easily detectable for an internal attacker. Now let's talk about how can you manage these ATA services. Once the installation and initial configuration of ATA center and gateway are complete, there are several management tasks that you need to address to effectively use ATA center and its components. Once the installation and initial configuration of ATA center and ATA gateways are complete, there are several management tasks that you need to address to effectively use ATA Center and its components. You need to set up ATA user access management for ATA roles group, and you need to export and import ATA configuration as well. Additional steps can include moving the ATA database to another drive as well. That concludes the lesson on advanced threat analytics. In the next video, we're gonna do a knowledge check on module six. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.